lay it out flat, you can see how it's done. <laughs> Yeah guys, what's up? So, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button, like the videos, watch our content. We're out again down Pump Station in Gretham, Hampshire, trying a bit of carp fishing. I've not done it for years. I've been out of the game for so long that I just gave carp fishing up when I was about 18. So, I'm starting to get back into it this year. I'm gonna go out next year and do a lot more. But, yeah, just sort of getting back into the basics of things at the minute with carp fishing um, it's freezing cold Chloe has misplaced her mug and I swear it's at the car she swears it's here in the bivvy but you know right? there's plenty of mugs here she could use she wants her blue mug that she left in the car ok I know 100% she left it in the car She's going to try and mug me off and say she didn't, but she definitely left it in the car. What do you reckon? Let's see when she gets back. She comes back with a blue mug. She left it in the car. And she's been imagining that she brought the blue mug. I love you, babe. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. I'm trying lunch and meat today. And I've got a snowman rig out. Not that I'm going to catch any fish. Don't know much about fishing, me. It's good, though. We'll have to wait and see. I bet she comes back with a cup. 100% Chloe's coming back with a blue cup. After she's just sat here and paddy with me, telling me, like I do with her, that the blue cup is it, or the blue cup wasn't it. And she tried telling me everything and every reason why the blue cup was it, but looked for it and it wasn't it. I do the same. 
I'm sure we all do. It's quite funny though. She's coming back with a blue cup. We shall film it when she gets back. So guys, whilst Chloe goes to the car to retrieve her mug that she misplaced in the day shelter. That's the car. Yeah, she'll be back soon with her mug. If she's got any brains, she'd just leave it in the car and say that it just disappeared and Harry Potter done the Expelliarmus spell on it and you know, here she is. Guess what she's got in her hand, people? Right, I'm telling you now, I was not wrong. Oh, here we go, now she's blaming me. Just like I do when it is. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay. So. so the other way around. <laughs> so. I then saw it on the, I didn't even know to go all the way to the car because you dropped it halfway. It turns out oh. I lost the mug on the way down it. <laughs> so, as always, I blame Chloe for something I done. But there you go. Oh. That's the way love works. I'm still coming back with your <laughs> But anyway, the mug was not here like she claimed it was, and I can guarantee. And it wasn't at the right, car either. Right. This girl has just sat here and told me she has had this mug out at this day shelter, and she got it out with my mug. So still, <laughs> I was correct. You're all right there. Eh? Now I think I'm going crazy. <laughs> She's telling me, right? Okay, look, look at my face. <laughs> She's telling me there's a float over there in that tree that's reflecting on the water like a light bulb of funny white, and she can see a float in it. I can just about see the float that's in my tackle box, two foot next to me. No, not right. Stop recording for a second. My What's that sweat? Oh. doesn't like the smell of my bait. I can't stand the smell of krill. <laughs> Seems like the baby doesn't love the smell of krill either. <laughs> Oh, 
That's a big fish. You're not going to weigh them? Don't know. If, the over there, you can't. if you shove them in the net, you can shove them back in through the water. You can move all that from it, but you're not supposed to keep the fish in there. Right. I'm just going to release it. Okay. okay. So there you go, guys. Nice, probably about eight, nine pound fish, nice mirror carp. Um, it's gonna get everything back set up so in case this one goes. You haven't done it on the red one. <laughs> Did you feel me getting it in? Dry and dry as a bun.
so guys, just a little winter tip. If you are fishing for carp in the winter, it's always best to try and fish the margins. Don't look for the deep water, it's a myth. Deep water doesn't always produce fish in the winter. Um, most fish will more than likely go to the reeds or somewhere where there's natural bait for them anyway. Um, yeah, they won't go deep down to feed, they'll come up to the surface. Still in the winter, they'll feed mid-range, so you're best off to try different depths and try different ranges. At the minute I'm trying on the bottom with lunch and meat and I've got a pop-up rig probably oh, about an inch, maybe two inches off the ground, so yeah. We're we're out here we're catching a fish, it's gotta be worth subscribing. It's freezing cold, Chloe's pregnant. And here we are. Boom 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 pal. Love you babe. So yeah guys, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, I've been in with a nice, probably an eight pound, I'm going to get the scales out just in case, probably an eight, right yeah no, I'll probably add an eight pound fish out, so hit the subscribe button, UK Fishing Adventures, we're out here, we're doing business, catching fish, it's freezing cold, I don't know why Fred's not here, he's working today, I think, I'm not sure. Let's do. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah guys, so we're off out at a pump station, it's in Breton today, 
Um, it's a day ticket water. It's beautiful water. There's just three ponds here. There's a big pond, there's a little pond, and there's a sm smallish pond. Um, really good water, some really lovely fish in here. Um, I'll leave a link to their website, it's NMG. I'll leave a link in the description so that you can all go and have a look and see what they have to offer here. Um, this is my third time here and it's been really successful every time I've been. Last week I bought Fred and he landed his personal best from here. So yeah, it, it's all go. It's winter, we're out here freezing. Chloe's um, in the day shelter having a bit of a kit. Um, Ooh, it fell asleep pretty quickly today but yeah um, we're out here as always I've got two rods out both on lunch and meat I'm not trying anything special um, just seeing what I can get as easy as possible I'd like to say a big thank you for all your support all the subscribers everyone who subscribed your legends thank you very much and also for all the other YouTube channels, um, Dyslexic Angler, Reese, thank you very much for all your support. Um, Will from Local Marks Fishing, I really appreciate all the support and all the subscribers I've had off your channel. He was one of the first channels I actually watched that got me going on the YouTube and doing this. So yeah, really appreciate that. Really insp inspirational man you are, Will, so thank you very much. Also Will from UK Fishing Glasgow, been very supportive mate, thank you very much, been, been, been a pleasure coming into the lives and having a sing song with you, yeah, it, it was fun the other night, but yeah, there's lots going on, there's too many people to say thank you to, Valerie Irwin, cool. everyone that's shown your support, thank you very much, but yeah, we're out here as always, and um, going to catch some more fish hopefully today for the video if not I'm going to try and think of something else to do might push Chloe in the pond while she's asleep <laughs> I love you babe <laughs> See, it's got to be worth subscribing to.
so guys you missed that I was just sat here watching the rods as you do and this little robin's been coming backwards and forwards and just taking the little bits of maggot and stuff that's been flying out of my catapult and um, it actually came right up to me and tried stealing a piece of meat off of my box which is left down here Yeah, it dropped it, but it was pretty cool. It came right up to the day shelter, bivy, whatever you want to call it. And um, yeah, it came right up, sat on the box in front of me and tried taking a piece of meat. It's been sat here for the last half hour. I've been feeding it whilst Chloe's asleep. You know me, you can't help it. Hedgehogs, birds, doesn't matter. But yeah, it was pretty cute going to add it in the video, he's been sat here with me for the last 10-15 minutes I suppose, whilst Chloe's been away, but be, be something interesting to the video, because I sure as hell ain't caught many fish today, just the one this morning, and it doesn't look, I think it's going to be a blank from now, it's a bit too cold for him I think. Who knows though, we've got about maybe an hour left of light so we're going to hold in until it gets as dark as we can manage to get back, which isn't going to be long so we'll have to um, start packing up soon. It's been an interesting day, hope you subscribe, hope you enjoy the videos, hope you come back and watch more videos, we'll be uploading more. Um, more adventures in the river, more adventures here, fishing at the ponds and fishing for carp down the canal, whatever, maybe go sea fishing, I don't know, who knows, who knows where our journey to take us, but yeah, hit the subscribe button, I hope you enjoyed the video, hopefully we catch another fish for you guys, but it's not looking promising, I've been there all day, only one fish, so. may maybe not our day today. Um, we're going to be back on Saturday, come back with Fred and see what happens then. But yeah, push that subscribe button, hit the like button, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment below and let us know what you think. I know I'm an idiot, but hey, Chloe's here. And the fish are here. <laughs> A nice size fish as well, isn't it? Yeah, you 
gonna start getting that swing out, put the phone down and get the swing out. I can't quite see that. 3.2. 3.2. 3.275 kilo. Yeah. That's good. So that's what a three pound cart looks like. Okay. There you go, then we can gauge the weight. What? It's just gone. <laughs> yeah, now you can gauge the weight on the fish. Like it's going to be. Well, for the moment, it's going to be. Yeah, that was. Hang on, there we go. Yeah, guys, so there you go. Seven pound. Seven point two. Seven pound two ounce. That was a nice cut. Well, I actually had a bit of fun playing that one in. Nice, strong um, cut. Mm. No, but yeah, nice common cut that we just had in there. I'm not usually a cut fisherman. I haven't done it for years. It's been a long time, but it's been fun being out here again, actually catching the cut for a change. It's a bit different from walking up the rivers like you usually see us doing. So, yeah. And a nice, I didn't weigh the first fish, but I'm, it, it was probably just a little bit bigger than that. It was also a mirror, so it was a bit fatter than that, less length to it. But yeah, nice common cut. And a nice mirror cut. <laughs>